How do you get rid of those halos around your cutouts in Photoshop? And what is up? I'm Jason Olsred and this is another tutorial on a Tuesday. And today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily get rid of those unsightly nasty halos, those white edges around your cutouts in Photoshop. But first, if you like this video, at any time during the video, go ahead and show that like button some love and subscribe to my channel if you want more tutorials every Tuesday. Now, let's jump into Photoshop and get rid of some halos. Alrighty, so here we are in Photoshop and today I'm gonna quickly and easily show you how to get rid of that haloing or that white edge that you might have around your cutouts. Now, the easiest way to get rid of that white edge, that haloing that you have around your cutouts, is to do your cutouts the correct way to start with. All right, but I know as somebody that might be new to cutting things out in Photoshop, and certainly I had these problems in the very beginning uh, that you have those haloing. If you're that way, if you're there right now, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily fix that. So I'm going to do that on an image that I'm cutting out for another composite portrait that I'm working on. So to do this the right way, I did an image real quick, the right way. And you can see that my haloing is very, very minimal. You know, there, this will need a little bit of cleanup, maybe, but probably not if you're putting it into the right background, you never know that. But let's say this is an image that I cut out uh, several years ago when I started out. And this is what they typically look like. And I had to learn how to figure out how to fix that. And so what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to come over here to my mask, my layer mask that I have on my image. And I'm going to go ahead and control or command and click on that mask. That'll give you your selection of that item or that object. And then what you're going to do is come up to select and you're going to modify that selection and you're going to contract that selection. You can track it anywhere between one and however many pixels you want. Typically, if you're dealing with hair, I don't typically contract it if I'm dealing with hair because you'll cut out a lot of the hair. But if you're dealing with a plant like this, you can contract it two, three pixels. Nobody will ever know. And remember, the most important part of manipulating an image is to be convincing, not realistic. All right. So. Let's go ahead and contract our uh, selection here by three pixels. And then I'm going to come in here on my layer mask with my brush tool. So you can hit B for your brush tool and just start painting it out. Oh, what? Wait a minute. <laughs> That's not what you do. You have to convert your selection first. And you're going to do that by shift command or control and I will invert your selection so you can paint everything on the outside of that selection just like this. All right, so we're painting out all that white edging, all that haloing that we have around our image that just looks dag nasty. Nasty. All right, so I'm not going to do the whole image. We're just going to come in here right about here and we're going to Go ahead and command or control D to get rid of our selection. And that looks pretty darn good. You've gotten rid of all that haloing that's around there. Aside from maybe a few little pieces right over here, probably won't know this unless it's a main part of it, like the biggest part of your image, then you'll have to go in and clean that up just a little bit. But that's looking pretty darn good. Now, the problem I have with this image is those edges just look too fake, too sharp. So to Real quickly, you can also get rid of some of that haloing if you have a little bit. You can feather that image just by, you know, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 pixels. That looks far more realistic to me if that were a photograph. So that knocked out those halos really, really good. I think we did a good job, don't you? All right. That is how you get rid of halos and cutouts super quick and it can't get much easier than that. And there you have it. That is how you quickly and easily get rid of those nasty white edges around your objects, around your cutouts in 
Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you can take what you've learned today and make your cutouts, your extractions in Photoshop look a million times better. It's super simple, it's super easy. And remember, the most important part of working with Photoshop is to go for convincing, not realistic. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and doing a little bit of fun Photoshop work. And I will see you next time on a tutorial on a Tuesday. Have a great week.